Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. يرجى من السادة الحضور التكرم بالجلوس في مقاعدهم استعدادا لبدء مراسم الاحتفال. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 seconds before we go live to the world. everyone, my name is Red One. I am very excited to be the creative entertainment executive at FIFA and to bring you some incredible music, not one, not two, but multiple songs that will be part of the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. I have loved football my entire life and my passion for football is shared by billions across the globe. People invented and played football for over a millennia. So join me to explore the magnificent history of football. Cute. What? Did you write that yourself? What? Were you really talking about music and football without introducing me first? But who are you? I am the official mascot of the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Woo! 
The name is Laib. Pleasure to meet you, sir. And you need to get your facts straight. Uh, excuse me? The origins of football don't belong to some humans from thousands of years ago. We were there, too. You? What? <sighs> Tedri Sean. How about I show you? Welcome to Mascot Verbs! Yeah, I forgot to mention that. What is this place? A parallel universe that's been around since the beginning of time. <laughs> Hello, Allah. The growth of our civilization relies on the thoughts and ideas of humans. What? Now that's what I call a half-baked idea, am I right or am I right? So, we live in parallel universes and work together? Precisely. We give purpose to your ideas. We help realize their full potential. Here we are. The Mascot Accreditation, Growth and Integration Center. It's where the magic happens. We work very hard to inspire humans to do better. To be better. Take World Cup mascots, for example. We audition them. We inspire your marketing executives to help us emerge on Earth. That's how we graduate. And once mascots accomplish their mission, they come back here for retirement. Wait a minute. If you've been around since the beginning of time, why did you only appear now, in modern times? We've been trying to reach out to you forever. Aliens, Area 51, Bigfoot, <laughs> Loch Ness Monster. You keep misinterpreting our visits. Wait, that was you guys all this time? Yes, even I visited Earth a few times to help you guys with football, which kept getting me into trouble because it wasn't my time yet. I got grounded for this one, but it was worth it. You see, we mascots have always been there watching over you. You mean that when I'm working on a song and I get that sudden flash of inspiration? Well, kinda. It works both ways. Us mascots have always been there. From Newton's apple to the first dog in space, we've always been trying to help you achieve greatness. And that goes for football as well. Egyptians, Greeks, Asians, you all claim that you invented football. Truth is, we taught you. You invented football? Did you invent fire, mathematics, or music? It is in the language of the universe. It's within us. It binds us together. In our wombs, our first move is to kick. We yearn to innovate from that very moment onwards. And that's why you must not forget what unites us all. Even the mascots that you once celebrated. So let's make this time different. For now, is all.
ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guest, Shetty Han. Your Highness, Dear President of the FIFA, esteemed guests and viewers, I am honored to be here tonight to celebrate this event. And what a historic moment. And what a moment that shall write history. And it is true that Qatar will be hosting this World Cup, the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. However, this is the tournament of all Arabs. Indeed, all the Arab peoples will be welcoming the entire world 12 years ago, I have seen and heard something that deeply touched me. Me, as a citizen of the Arab world and an, as an Egyptian, I was delighted, I was hopeful, and I was dreaming of this time, and I was wishing to see it become reality not just a dream, through will and unwavering determination and perseverance and hard work, the dream is now reality and a truth before us. And from now on and from here, our journey shall begin. The journey of every person, citizen of this world, of each and every one of us. For we all have a journey and we need one another to have support, to encourage us, to have trust. And my personal journey would have never been complete without all of you. And as the ball will spin, the journey of all the fans will start, and it shall take them onto that exciting roller coaster of emotions, of passion, of happiness, together. And now, now is all. Ramadan Karim, may it bring you all health and blessing. Ramadan Kareem. Ramadan Kareem. It is quite hard for me at the moment. What a great moment. And if I could only explain what I'm feeling, I'm hearing my own heart. My own heart is now traveling all over the Arab world, here in Qatar. I'm feeling that Everyone and all the Arab world is united here in the body of one Arab citizen. Thank you, Qatar, and bravo, bravo, bravo. I am so honored to be here with you. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hosts for tonight's show, Idris Elba and Reshman Chowdhury. Welcome to you and thank you for joining us here live in Doha. Football fans from all over the world, wherever you are tuning in to watch this, the wait is over. It is time for the final draw of the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Thank you to our hosts here in Doha, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of the State of Qatar, and FIFA President Gianni Infantino. Yes, assalamu alaikum. Good evening to all of you here and all of you watching all over the world. That was a majestic way to start oh, yes. the show, wasn't oh, yes. it? Thank you so much for that very special message from a very special woman, of course, Sheri Han. We hope the uh, voyage of Fijiri has set the stage for a magical experience here in the Arabian Peninsula. We were introduced to Laib, the official mascot for the tournament, and al -Rekla. This is a football designed to be the fastest football ever at a FIFA World Cup. And we have a very uh, special surprise for you. For the first time, the first public performance of Higher, Higher, Better Together, which is the first single from the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 official soundtrack. Please put your hands together for the incredibly talented Aisha Davido and rising global superstar Trinidad Cardona. Trust me, this song will stick with your hearts. Enjoy.
Put your hands together for Aisha Davido and Trinidad Cadona. Shukran and thank you very much. What a great performance. Those are three different artists from three different backgrounds produced by the one and only Red One to create and connect audiences with a shared passion for football and music. It really does capture the spirit of the FIFA World Cup. It really does, and I can't lie, there was some dancing backstage, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, <I'm kidding. laughs> you and me. Okay, now, we are going to begin the draw very shortly, of course, but before we do, let's please welcome onto the stage the FIFA president, Gianni Infantino. Thank you, thank you very much. Your Highness, Sheikh Tamim, Emir of the State of Qatar, ladies, gentlemen, dear friends here in this uh, beautiful auditorium and at home watching this incredible moment. Wow, what an emotion it is to be here in front of you. Now it's getting serious. Now we know that it is for real. Now the World Cup is going to start. We are here for the draw of the World Cup, and that's why I wish you all Ahlan wa Sahlan. Bienvenue, bienvenidos, welcome, welcome, welcome to Doha, welcome to this draw, to the draw for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. And dear friends, this World Cup will simply be the best World Cup ever. The greatest show on earth, which will have over 3 million spectators here in Qatar and over 5 billion people watching it from home. The world will be united in Qatar. And for this reason, my first thank go to the people of Qatar, to His Highness, the Emir, to the people of the Gulf, to the Arab world. Shukran Jazilan for putting together this incredible event. And my congratulation, of course, goes to the 29 teams that have qualified so far and the three that will qualify in June. Congratulations, Mabruk, felicitations. Glückwunsch, it's fantastic to be here, you are all winners, and this is great. But today and these times, we face as well some turbulences around the world. Our world is uh, divided, our world is aggressive, and we need occasions to bring people together, to bring people to come together in peace, to celebrate, and the World Cup will be exactly that. And since we know that hundreds of millions of people are watching this draw and many leaders of the world are also watching, our plea, the plea of the world football community to everyone, to all the leaders and to all the people of the world is stop the conflicts and the wars. Please, please engage in dialogue. Please engage in peace because we want this to be the World Cup of unity and the World Cup of peace. Thank you very much. And now, of course, enjoy the evening, enjoy the draw, enjoy the World Cup, and uh, enjoy the speech of uh, His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim. Please. You know, before I start, I told the president that nobody wants to listen to our speeches. They're waiting for the, <laughs> for the draw. But, uh, but thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 
In the name of God, the most gracious, the most uh, merciful, Mr. Gianni Infantino, the FIFA president. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all on the occasion of the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 final draw ceremony. This uh, tournament uh, shall be the first major event uh, that unifies the world following the pandemic that uh, had befallen us uh, and the world has suffered from. I feel proud and uh, happy from this moment and up uh, the moment when the world will see Qatar. As we promised, uh, we shall provide an extraordinary edition of the FIFA World Cup. Uh, as a sports fan, I long with you to enjoy uh, this tournament uh, and the milieu and the atmosphere, recognizing that uh, the impact of the sports doesn't confine itself to enjoyment. However, it is more noble. It uh, brings us uh, to engage uh, amongst each other, amongst the peoples uh, of the earth. I uh, wish uh, to all uh, the qualified national teams every single success. Uh, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of the State of Qatar. Thank you very much for your speech. And of course, to Gianni Infantino, the FIFA president as well. Great to hear from you both. Shukran. Okay, now, we all know that the last couple of years have been very difficult and that all of us, in one way or another, have been affected by all that's happened in the world. Since the 2018 FIFA World Cup, the football community has lost some of the world's greatest players. The film you're about to see um, is one of celebration for some of those players who had an incredible impact on the game, but who are sadly no longer with us. You know, the celebration says it all because, Idris, we all remember that very first World Cup yeah. that we watched and some of those players we saw there, you know, across the generation. Those are the players that made us fall in love with the beautiful game. So, thank you. Now, the entire world is watching and every single one of you have a personal interest in what happens here tonight. It is massive. It is exciting. It is the FIFA World Cup. Draw for Qatar 2022. Please make some noise. Very good. Now, all 32 teams, qualified teams, are seeking glory, and it is a fairly simple calculation. If you win all seven of your matches, you get crowned the champions of the world. Simple. 
as simple as that. Yep. <laughs> it sounds simple. Just if you win. Just win them all. And if you do manage to do that, it means you get to lift football's most iconic trophy. It's something, in fact, only eight nations have ever done since the inaugural tournament in 1930. You know, the FIFA World Cup trophy. It's something that every single player on the planet dreams of lifting. It's a prize that every national coach longs to bring home. And I know you're all here. I know you're all going to look at it very, very closely indeed. It is quite simply the summit of world football. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who led France to the glory in 2018 and one of only three people who have lifted the trophy both as player and coach. Please welcome Didier Deschamps. It's, it's good to see you and good to see. <laughs> in 2018, one of the most striking images was this young boy, Joris Firafero, celebrating the magical moment on his father's shoulders. <laughs> Joris. Joris, you know, Didier is here. Uh, you know, France is watching. What would you like to say to Didier? Allez les bleus, allez les bleus. <laughs> It's a message, vraiment simple. So it's a very simple message, no? As simple as that. Allez les bleus, come on you bleus, and good luck to you, everyone out there. Didier, I know that you also wish to ask in English, and I'll also ask you a question in English. you here, and it's wonderful to see you with this amazing trophy. It looks so beautiful. You've won this twice. What does it feel like? J'ai conscience d'être un privilégié. Ce sont des moments fantastiques. 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 Ce sont des moments Okay, we are now less than eight months away from the biggest tournament on the planet, a FIFA World Cup, not just for Qatar, but for the entire Arab world. That's absolutely right, because a deep passion for football has been embedded in this region for such a long time. And after watching it from afar for so many years, Qatar, with its world-famous hospitality, is ready to invite the world into its home. Yes. What did people do before football? And who would have thought that this sport of chasing a ball between two posts would mushroom from London to Glasgow, fast into the Arabian desert lands? Far away, we placed our own posts in the sand and shouted, Go! sleep after a day of losing signal when the goals had been and gone who would have thought over a hundred years after fifa's first ever match that our pearl of a peninsula would step up and prepare for her biggest event yet qatar is ready for game 
with manuals well written, riding on a once mirage, now actualized on our horizon. A great responsibility we hold as we unfold to the world swiftly, steadily, to where all roads collide, to where hearts meet in shared delights, to where spirits brighten, excited, energized, to where interactions thrive and are alive in the glory of diversity. An historic event awaits, a monument of unity and a chance to once and for all connect. Through passion, inequality, connect. With our off-the-charts Arabian hearts, connect. With our singing dunes and unparalleled sunsets, and be met with our golden coffee, now ground and ready to celebrate with the world. For nearly a hundred years awaiting, the day is finally here, an Arab country is hosting the FIFA World Cup. Hayakum Allah. Ladies and gentlemen, Please give a warm welcome to our draw conducting team, Jermaine Genus, Carly Lloyd, and Samantha Johnson. Thank you very much. How exciting is this? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so how exciting is this? We are absolutely delighted to be here for the final draw for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 in Doha. And as you can see, I'm in fine company this evening as part of my co-conductor team. I'm joined by Samantha Johnson, who I know is very excited to get this draw underway this evening. I don't think I have the words to actually describe how I'm feeling right now, but I think excited yes. is definitely one of them and honored to be here on such a, an important and huge night for international football in a World Cup year. But I have to say, I'm very honored to be sharing this stage with a natural born winner, a serial winner. It's not, not you this time, I'm sorry. Thanks. <laughs> it's uh, Carly Lloyd, the two time World Cup champion. Thank you so much for joining us. And I know you are used to nights like this. So can you just tell us what players and how players are feeling and thinking right now? Well, first off, it's an honor to be here with you all. It's an honor to be on stage at a men's World Cup draw. Uh, the draw is exciting. As a player, it's, it's what you look forward to. It sets the stage. It starts the journey of lifting that trophy. And uh, I must add, I am extremely proud of our USA men for qualifying for this World Cup. <laughs> so uh, that is also extremely exciting for me to be up here tonight. Okay, so you'll be keep, keeping a close eye on them. Right, uh, to complete our star-studded team, we are in the company of more footballing royalty, as we have eight, yes, I said eight, FIFA legends with us tonight. Yes, and we're going to start, firstly, with a Brazilian giant, a man who played at four FIFA World Cups and was a champion on two occasions, Cafu. Up next, a Nigerian superstar who appeared 73 times for his country and played at three World Cups. It's JJ Okocha. Uh, the captain of West Germany's winning team in 1990, who has made more FIFA World Cup appearances than anyone else in the history of the competition with 25 matches, Lothar Matthäus. Oh, 
Also joining us this evening, the first male footballer to score 100 international goals is the Iran legend Ali Day. Good evening, Ali. Uh, right, a former Qatar international who was a key figure in their run to the 1981 FIFA World Youth Championship final and represented his nation at the Olympics. He was the first Qatari to ever lift a trophy. Adel Ahmed Malala. Up next, Australia's all-time men's record goal scorer with 50 goals and his nation's top scorer at the FIFA World Cup with five goals. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Tim Cahill. Also joining us, one of only two coaches to manage at five FIFA World Cups, Bora Milutinovic. And finally, one of Africa's all-time greats who played at two FIFA World Cups with Algeria, it's Rava Maja. Uh, so good evening to all of our FIFA legends joining us here on stage this evening. Um, Adele, I'm going to start with a question to you as you played for Qatar. Just tell us how much does it mean for your country to host the FIFA World Cup? In Arabic. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a great pleasure to be one of the conductors of this final draw here in my home, Qatar. The World Cup uh, has been a dream that uh, came true. Indeed, uh, the fans are delighted, the Arabs are delighted, and hopefully this will have positive impact on the future generation. Uh, we hope from the fans across the world to come to Qatar and to support the national teams. I would like to thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's bring uh, Tim Cahill into the fold here. Uh, thank you for very, very much for joining us this evening. Now, uh, there's going to be a few placeholders in the draw this evening. We have the European playoffs set for June and, of course, your beloved Australia in the intercontinental playoffs as well. Knowing what's at stake this year in Qatar 2022, how will the teams be feeling? Good evening. Salam alaikum. Um, look, it's everything. As a player and even standing up here now, you don't realize what it means to wear your badge and represent your country. And everyone that's at home now anticipating what's coming, um, it's just incredible. So. For Australia, let's make it five consecutive World Cups. I know we have got what it takes. And for the countries that don't make it, come and embrace this beautiful country. Come and enjoy the people, the culture, and this part of the world. Shukran. Thank you very much, Tim. Yeah, thank you very much, Tim. Right, now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to get ready for the draw. So let's take a look at the procedure.
Okay, you ready? Let's go. 32 nations are aiming for glory in Qatar at the FIFA World Cup 2022. For the draw, they're divided into four pots, each containing eight teams. So, how are the pots decided? Well, they're based on the latest FIFA Coca-Cola World Ranking, so the seven top-ranked nations are in pot one, joined by hosts Qatar. The lowest-ranked teams from the 32 qualifiers are in pot four, along with two intercontinental playoff winners and one European winner, all of whom will be decided in June. Right, let's find your team. In pot one, we have Qatar, Brazil, Belgium, France, Argentina, England, Spain, and Portugal. In pot two, Mexico, Netherlands, Denmark, Germany, Uruguay, Switzerland, United States of America, Croatia, Senegal, Islamic Republic of Iran, Japan, Morocco, Serbia, Poland, Korea Republic, and Tunisia are in pot three. And pot four has Cameroon, Canada, Ecuador, Saudi Arabia, Ghana, and the two placeholders for the Intercontinental Playoff winners and one placeholder for the European winner. What a lineup! Now, once the draw's underway, the teams will be drawn one at a time, starting with pot one and ending with pot four. As the teams are pulled out, they'll go into groups from group A through to group H. The teams from pot one will go into the first position in each group. Those in pots two, three, and four don't have pre-assigned group positions. Instead, they'll be drawn randomly into other positions in their respective groups. Got that? So now the interesting bit. No two teams from the same qualification zone can be drawn together in the same group. So for example, you can't have two African nations or two South American nations in the same group. That means that some teams in pots two, three, and four may have to be allocated into a different group out of alphabetical order. If that happens, we'll go back to the group that was skipped for the next nation that's drawn. Well, with one exception, as we have 13 nations from Europe at the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, five of the eight groups will have a maximum of two European teams. Okay, that's the technical bit done. Bring on the draw. Correct. Let's start this draw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on all of our viewers around the world, it's now time for the start of the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 draw. Uh, so, Carly, could you remind us of the teams in pot one, please? Absolutely. So, in pot one, hosts Qatar, Brazil, Belgium, France, Argentina, England, Spain, and Portugal. Right, Cafu, you have the honor of drawing the first ball from pot one. So give them a good mix and please take the red ball from pot one. <laughs> Love that smile. <laughs> Qatar. <laughs> The current champions of Asia, host Qatar, will participate at the FIFA World Cup for the very first time this year. Uh, so Qatar will be going into Group A. So JJ, please step forward to Pot A and take out the red ball, please. The red ball, please, JJ. A1. A1 for our hosts, Qatar. Kafu, next ball, please. England. Champions in 1966, England are through to their 16th FIFA World Cup, and this will be their seventh successive finals appearance. Got to be one of the favorites, surely, Sam. Surely. Uh, <laughs> JJ, could you please step forward to pot B and take the red ball from pot B. The red ball, please, JJ. Thank you. B1. 
So B1 for England. Next ball, please, Cafu. Argentina. Argentina won the FIFA World Cup in 1978 and 1986, and they reached the final on five occasions. So Argentina will be going into Group C. Uh, Ali, could you step to pot C for me, please, and take out the red ball? C1. So it's position C1 for Argentina. Cafu, another ball, please. France. The defending FIFA World Cup champions, France, have lifted the trophy on two occasions, and they, they will feature in their 16th World Cup. Yeah, as Sam just mentioned, the defending champions will go into Group D. So, Ali, could you please take the red ball from Pot D for us? Thank you. D1. So D1 for France. Next ball, please, Cafu. Give them a good mix. <laughs> Let's see who we get next. Spain. Spain are competing in their 16th FIFA World Cup and are one of only eight nations to have ever won the tournament. So, Group E for Spain, uh, Tim, that's you. Could you go to pot E for us, please, and remove the red ball? E1. So, E1 for Spain. We have three teams remaining in pot one. Brazil, Belgium and Portugal yet to be drawn. Cafu, next ball, please. Belgium. Belgium's third place finish in 2018 was their best ever achievement at a FIFA World Cup. It will be their 14th appearance at the finals. Uh, so Belgium will be going into Group F. Uh, Tim, could you step to pot F for me, please, and take out the red ball? Thank you. F1. So Belgium go into the top of Group F. Cafu, last two balls. Please take one. Brazil. <laughs> I don't think that smile can get any bigger, right? Brazil are the most successful nation in FIFA World Cup history with five titles, and they're the only team to have featured in every edition of the finals. Uh, and Cafu's Brazil will be going into Group G. Raba, could you please step to pot G for me? And take out the red ball, please. G1. G1 for Brazil. We're now down to our final ball. Could you please take out that final ball for his Cafu? Portugal. And finally, Portugal's best performance was a third place finish on their FIFA World Cup debut back in 1966. This will be their eighth appearance in the finals. Uh, so that'll be Group H for Portugal. Rabba, could you go to Pot H and remove the Red Bull? H1. 
so H1 for Portugal, and that concludes the draw for pot one. We'll now move on to pot two. Carly, talk us through the teams, please. And in pot two, we have Mexico, Netherlands, Denmark, Germany, Uruguay, Switzerland, United States of America, and Croatia. Right, Lota, you're the man when it comes to pot two. Give them a good mix and draw your first ball, please. Netherlands. The Netherlands have finished as runners-up at the World Cup on three occasions and are appearing at the finals for the first time since 2014. Uh, so the Netherlands will be going into Group A with our hosts, Qatar. JJ, could you take a ball from Pot A and let's find out their position. A4. A4 for the Netherlands. Lota, mix them up real good. Another ball, please. USA. <laughs> the United States of America are competing in their 11th FIFA World Cup. Their best ever showing at a World Cup came at the inaugural edition way back in 1930 when they reached the semi-finals. We knew this was going to happen, didn't we, I think? Well, yeah. uh, so the United States of America <laughs> will be going into Group B uh, with England. JJ, could you take uh, a ball out of Pot B for me, please? B3. So B3 for the United States of America. You happy with that? Yeah, we'll see the other oh, two teams. Very confident, <laughs> very confident. Uh, next ball, please, Lota. Mexico. Mexico will feature in their 17th FIFA World Cup. They haven't missed a final tournament since 1990. They've qualified from their group in each of the last seven editions. Uh, so Group C for Mexico. Ali, could you please step to pot C for me and remove a ball? C3. So it's C3 for Mexico. Uh, next ball, please, Lota. Denmark. Denmark reached the round of 16 in 2018 and will make their sixth appearance at the FIFA World Cup later on this year in Qatar. Yeah, so it'll be Group D uh, for Denmark. Ali, could you step to pot D for me? And let's find out their position in the group. D3. So Denmark go into Group D with France. Lota, give it a good little mix. Next ball, please. <laughs> Germany. <laughs> 
Oh, oh there you go, Lota. Right. <laughs> Four-time winners of Germany are through to their 20th FIFA World Cup, a total only bettered by Brazil. This time around, they'll make their 18th successive appearance. Yeah, definitely got on a, uh, a reaction from our audience, that one. Um, so they're going, in, going into Group E, sorry. So, Tim, can you please remove a ball from Pot E? E3. So E3 as Germany go in the same group as Spain in Group E. Next ball, please, Lota. Croatia. Croatia became the 13th different nation to feature in a World Cup final when they faced France in 2018. They've now qualified for six out of seven World Cups since their debut in 1998. Uh, so Croatia will be going into Group F. Tim, that's you. Please take a ball from Pot F for us. F4. So it will be a final game in Group F between Croatia and Belgium. Lota, next ball, please. Uruguay. Two-time FIFA World Cup winners Uruguay were the first nation to win the tournament in 1930. They reached the quarterfinals in 2018. Uh, so we do have our first constraint of the evening. They can't go into Group G as they're in the same confederation as Brazil. So we will skip a group and move to Group H. Uh, so Rabba, that is you. Could you go to Pot H for me, please? And take out the next ball. Thank you. So H3 for Uruguay as they join Portugal in Group H. Our final ball, Carly. Final ball, Lota. Switzerland. And finally, three-time quarter-finalists Switzerland are competing in their 12th FIFA World Cup and their fifth in a row. Uh, so here we do go back alphabetically to Group G, which is where Switzerland will go. Rabba, that's you again. Could you go to Pot G for me, please? And let's see where they'll be positioned. Thank you. G3. So G3 for Switzerland, and that concludes the draw for pot two. We will now move on to pot three. Carly. In pot three, we have Senegal, Islamic Republic of Iran, Japan, Morocco, Serbia, Poland, Korea Republic, and Tunisia. So Adele, you're going to be drawing the balls from pot three. Give them a good spin and draw your first ball, please. Islamic Republic of Iran. The Islamic Republic of Iran will be making their third successive appearance at the FIFA World Cup, having also competed at the finals in 2014 and 2018. Uh, so we do have another constraint here. They can't go into Group A as they're in the same confederation as Qatar. So they will be going into Group B. So JJ, could you please step to pot B for me and remove the next ball? Thank you. B2. 
B2, so it will be an opening game fixture in Group B between England and the Islamic Republic of Iran. Adele, next ball, please. Senegal. Yay. <laughs> African champions Senegal are reaching at the FIFA World Cup for the third time and are one of only three African nations to have reached the quarterfinals. They have the best win percentage of any African nation at the tournament. Yeah, it's impressive. Uh, we don't have any constraints here, so we go back alphabetically to pot A. Uh, so, JJ, could you please take the next ball from pot A, please? A3. So Senegal's first game at the World Cup will be against the Netherlands. Next ball, please, Adele. Holland. Poland have now qualified for the FIFA World Cup on nine occasions. They finished in third place in both 1974 and 1982. Yeah, so it's Group C for Poland. Ali, could you please step to pot C for us and draw that next ball? C4. So C4 for Poland as they join Group C with Argentina and Mexico. Adele, next ball, please. Serbia. Serbia are making back-to-back -back appearances at the FIFA World Cup, having also featured at the previous edition in 2018. So we do have multiple constraints here. We have two European teams in groups D, E and F, so we've had to skip to group G. So that's where Serbia will be placed. So Raba, could you please step to pot G for me, please? Thank you. G2. So Brazil's opening game at this year's World Cup will be against Serbia as they join Switzerland in Group G. Next ball, please, Adele. Tunisia. Tunisia are participating in their sixth FIFA World Cup and second in succession, having also qualified for the finals in 2018. So Tunisia will be joining France and Denmark in Group D. Ali, that's you, please. Pot D, please. D4. So D4 for Tunisia. Adele, next ball, please. Japan. In 2018, Japan made it through to the knockout phase for the third time, having also achieved this at the finals in 2002 and 2010. So it will be Group E for Japan. Uh, Tim, that's you. Please remove a ball from Pot E.
E4. So Japan go into E4 and join Germany and Spain in Group E. Adele, last two remaining balls, please pick one. <laughs> Morocco. Morocco are making their sixth FIFA World Cup appearance. The Atlas Lions made history when they became the first African team to progress beyond the first round in 1986. Uh, so, Tim, Morocco will be going into Group F. Please, let's find out their position in Pot F. F3. So it will be an opening game for Morocco against Croatia. Final ball, please, Adele. <laughs> Korea Republic. Korea Republic have featured at the FIFA World Cup on more occasions than any other Asian nation, and Qatar 2022 will be their 11th participation. Uh, so it's Group H for Korea Republic. Rabba, could you take a ball from Pot H? H. So H4 for Korea Republic, and that concludes the draw for pot three. We'll now move on to pot four. Carly. Last and final pot. In pot four, we have Cameroon, Canada, Ecuador, Saudi Arabia, Ghana. The intercontinental playoff one winner between either the United Arab Emirates or Australia and Peru. The intercontinental playoff two winner between Costa Rica and New Zealand and the European playoff winner between Wales and either Scotland or Ukraine. Well done. That was a lot to get in, Carly. <laughs> uh, Bora, could you please do the honours? Yes, yeah, time to go. Give them a good mix and draw that first ball, please. International playoff number one. The Intercontinental Playoff One winner will be decided in June when the United Arab Emirates or Australia take on Peru. Uh, so we do have multiple constraints here. So we're going to be jumping to Group D. Ali, that's you. Could you please step to Pot D and remove that final ball, please? D2. D2 for the Intercontinental Playoff one winner. Bora, next ball, please. Thank you. Ecuador. This is Ecuador's fourth World Cup appearance. They made their de debut in 2002, and their best performance came in 2006 when they reached the round of 16. Yeah, and we will now go back alphabetically to Group A. So, JJ, please take the final ball from Pot A. A2. A2 for Ecuador, so the opening game at this year's World Cup will be between our host Qatar and Ecuador. <laughs> Next ball, please, Bora. Give it a good mix. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. 
Saudi Arabia are through to their sixth FIFA World Cup and second in a row. Their best performance to date is a run to the round of 16 in 1994. Uh, so we do have a constraint here. They can't go into Group B as they're on the same confederation as the Islamic Republic of Iran. So we'll go to Group C. Uh, and that is you, Ali. Could you please take the final ball pump from Pot C? C2. C2, so that concludes Group C of Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Bora, another ball, please. <laughs> it's getting quick. Intercontinental Playoff 2. The Intercontinental Playoff 2 winner will also be decided in June when Costa Rica take on New Zealand. Uh, so we do have another constraint here in Group B. They can't go into Group B as they're in the same confederation as the USA. So we jump to Group E. Um, so that is you, Tim. Please take that final ball for us from Pot E. E2. So E2 for the Intercontinental Playoff 2 winner, and their opening game will be against Spain in Group E. Bora, ready. Oh, <laughs> Another ball, please. He's ready, he's ready. Lovely style. European Playoff. The European playoff will also take place in June between Wales and the winner of the match between Scotland and Ukraine. So uh, they will be going into Group B. JJ, could you please take the final ball from Pot B? B4. So B4 for the winner of either Ukraine, Scotland, or Wales going into Group B with England, Islamic Republic of Iran, and USA. Bora, ready. Another ball, please. Cameroon. Since their debut appearance in 1982, Cameroon have made more appearances at the FIFA World Cup than any other African nation. This will be their eighth participation. Uh, so we do have another constraint here in Group F. They can't go in that group as they're in the same confederation as Morocco. So we'll skip a group to Group G. Uh, Raba, could you take a ball from Pot G? G4. So G4 for Cameroon. Two more balls left now in the draw this evening. All right, Bora. Another one, please. <laughs> Ghana. Ghana have now qualified for four out of five FIFA World Cups since making their debut in 2006. Their best performance came in 2010 when they reached the quarterfinals. Uh, yeah, so we do have the same constraint in Group F uh, with Ghana being in the same confederation as Morocco. So we will go to Group H. Raba, please take the final ball from Pot H for us. H2. Yeah, so Portugal's opening game in Group H will be against Ghana. Last and final ball, Bora. Last ball, Bora. Please be Canada. 
Tranquilo. <laughs> Canada. And it is Canada are participating in their second FIFA World Cup, 36 years after their debut in 1986. They were unbeaten in their first 70 matches of qualifying for Qatar 2022. So they will be going into Group F. Tim, you have the pleasure of drawing the final ball from Pot F, please. F2. So F2 for Canada, and that concludes the draw for this evening. It really is time to get excited and to get ready for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. 64 matches will take place. So let's take another look at the groups in full. In Group A, we have Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. And in Group B, England, Islamic Republic of Iran, USA, and the European Playoff. Uh, group C will consist of Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Group D, France, Intercontinental Playoff 1, Denmark, and Tunisia. Whilst in Group E, we have Spain, the Intercontinental Playoff 2 winner, Japan, and Germany. Group F, Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. Uh, group G is Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon. And the last group, Group H, Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and Korea Republic. So, I mean, it's an absolutely brilliant draw and one we're all going to be looking forward to come the end of the year. But, Cafu, I have to start with you. We all loved it when you pulled out Brazil. Uh, how do you feel about their group? Do you feel they have a good chance of, of going through? Um grupo. Well, theoretically, I see that Brazil is in a good position. Brazil uh, in Switzerland when we played Switzerland was not easy and as far as Cameroon is concerned it's always difficult but as we have experience of playing um, different World Cups we know that we need to play hard but we have a high chance of reaching the finals thank you enjoying that for a second what do you how do you think the African nations will be feeling after this draw now I think we're excited you yeah. know um, we believe we can compete now uh, we've been improving over the years, and uh, we can't wait for it to start. Which team do you have your eye on? Uh, Senegal, I think. Okay. <laughs> oh, and um, finally to you as well. Um, which team are you looking forward to watching, Raba? It's always very difficult uh, to give a prognosis, because I think that we're talking about big names during the next World Cup. I believe that football has never really been an exact science. It's going to be very difficult. I think there are going to be a lot of surprises. All the teams coming to Qatar will come with very high ambitions. They're all going to try and reach that final spot and others go as far as they can. And I would like to take the opportunity also to tell you that I am honored and proud this evening to see this beautiful World Cup. It's the first time that an Arab country, the Qatar, is welcoming the World Cup. Thank you very much. Group E for Germany, an interesting group, big game against Spain, but all the games at the World Cup are very difficult. But the Germans are always very confident. Yes, uh, we are not happy. We respect each other the team and uh, we have to play three games on the highest level to go to the next round. But my mind, we have good player, we have a very good team spirit, we have a great coach and I will try everything to go in the next round and win the World Cup. I'm sure you will. Thank you very much, Lota. Uh, well, we expected some magnificent matchups and we have definitely been spoiled for choice. Now that the draw has been completed, the countdown has truly started to the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Uh, Kafu, Lota, Adele and Bora, thank you so much for joining us here on stage this evening. And the gentlemen to my right, JJ, Ali, Tim and Raba, thank you so much for your contribution this evening. And not to forget, by the way, my co-conductors, Samantha Johnson and Carly Lloyd. Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Now, football's greatest showpiece is coming to the Arab world for the first time. And it's a very good reason to get excited. The question is, are you ready?
How about that, ladies and gentlemen?